بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Privacy is power what people don't know they can't ruin Somebody said I don't know why people are so keen to put the details of their private life in public. They have forgotten that invisibility is a superpower. They have forgotten that invisibility is a superpower. Say so three things you should keep private. Your relationships, your income and your next move. Your next move. So Dean has highlighted this point and if we look at the Quran as well with regards to the privacy of a female, the masturat of the ummah, like discussed even in ibadat, in salah, in a position where they will not even think of committing any sin or guna, even in that position and place, it should be in the deep, deepest, darkest part of your home. Likewise, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not mentioned any name of any female except Maryam radiallahu anha and that the Mufassirin have explained why. So the name of a female, forget her zat, forget her presence, forget her being uh, aura and mastur, even her name should be mastur. So in, in a challenge of secrecy, a submarine is, is, is private, but even the signals, even the tracking, they've got anti-tracking devices to make sure. So they covered a layer of another layer of another layer of protection and being submerged completely of the radar. So the wife of Nu alayhi salatu wassalam where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks and makes ishara about her وَلَا تُخَاطِبْنِي فِي الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا Do not bring this issue up. These are the oppressors and they will drown. ضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مْرَأَةَ نُوحِ وَمْرَأَةَ لُوطَ The wife of Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam so the consequences to follow illam ra'ata qaddarnaha min al-ghabirin innahu musibuha ma asabahum so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not mentioned her name illa ajuzan fil ghabirin likewise so nu alayhi salam lut alayhi salam the wife of Abu Lahab as well. Allah speaks about her in the Quran Again, Imra'ah, the wife. Likewise, so with regards to the evil women, Allah has not mentioned their names. With regards to the noble women as well, Salihat, Asiya, Fir'aun, the wife of Fir'aun. Even the wives of Anbiya Ali Musallatu Wassalam, Hawa radiallahu anha wa qulna ya Adamuskun anta wa zawjuka al-jannah. Your wife, Sarah radiallahu anha, the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam, wa amra'atuhu qa'imatun fadahikat fabasharnaha bi-ishaq. So again, when the glad tidings came, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't mention her name at all. Hajar radiallahu anha, the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salatu as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not mentioned her name at all. All isharat, Rabbana inni askantu min dhurriyati biwadin ghayri dhi zar'in inda baytika al-muharram. The wife of Hazrat Zakaria, the mother of uh, uh, Yahya alayhi salam, 
وكانت امرأتي عاقرة Again wife Aisha رضي الله عنها and the incident that happened إن الذين جاءوا بالإفك Again her name was not mentioned The mother of Musa عليه الصلاة والسلام وأوحينا إلى أم موسى The mother of Musa even sisters, their names were not mentioned. The sister of Musa alayhi salam, وَقَالَتْ لِأُخْتِهِ قُسِّيهِ He spoke to his sister. The wife of Musa alayhi salam, قَالَ مَا خَطْبُكُمَا قَالَتَا وَقَالَتْ إِحْدَاهُمَا So, different masturat uh, mentioned in the Qur'an the wife of Imran, Hanna, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about her, إِذْ قَالَتِ امْرَأَةُ Imran, The wife of Imran said, so no name except Maryam radiallahu anha has been mentioned and the scholars have said that she is the only female for many reasons and her name or indicating to her name 11 times uh, where she's mentioned alone and 13 times a, an indication to her and uh, Isa alayhi salatu was salam so 24 times so why why what's the specific benefits amongst them Allama Qurtubi rahmallah is mentioned that Allah has not mentioned the name of any female except Maryam Ibn to Imran because and he's mentioned fi nahwi min thalathina mawdi'an approximately 30 places in the Quran for the hikmat and the wisdom firstly the noble men you should not mention the free women so slaves could be mentioned by their names but the free women they were awarded this was the norm in that time that to show nobility to show honor to show status that she's a free person they wouldn't mention their names likewise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not mentioned anybody else's name besides her to show nobility in stature that uh, Isa salam did not have a father so there is nobility like how a free woman has nobility this also is showing status and refuting the fact that Isa salatu was salam was born without a father and likewise Alama Zarkashi has mentioned فَإِنَّ عِيسَى لَا أَبْلَهُ He never had a father and uh, when you cannot connect and make mansub and attribute a person to a father then you have to attribute it to a mother and this will cause more yaqeen and itiqad and belief in the zat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the qudrat of Allah وَالْتَنْزِيهِ and the preservation of the chastity of Maryam radiallahu anha where people have na'uzu billah made accusations and allegations against her so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuting these allegations has mentioned her name so again the masturat of the ummah are privatized they should be preserved they should be protected because something that's very valuable stays in a safe, in an expensive box, in an expensive pouch, well looked after. So the, uh, the, the, the women of the Ummah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran has given us a great lesson. Unfortunately, because of the propaganda around us, forget exposing the sitter, but on social media we find that that which Allah subhanahu wa has commanded us to preserve and protect we have breached that and we have put ourselves in, 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 in an exposure 
which will have serious consequences. Those who follow will be protected and those that don't follow, may Allah protect one and all may see serious ramifications. So not just following the norm and doing what everybody else is doing because that is the norm but our norm, our guideline, our yardstick is Quran and Hadith. Like they say to, to a serviceman from a gas company, a young and old were on a call out in a neighborhood and they were checking the meters. So they, they, they finished the final house on their round and uh, somebody from the window was watching them check the meter. So the truck was right at the end of the street. So they decided, you know what, the old man put the youngster to the, to the test and said, let's have a race. So they started running to the truck and uh, as they reached the truck, they seen the man from the last house, which they just finished huffing and puffing and was run, running behind them. So they inquired, they said, sir, what's wrong? Something has happened. So he said, no, 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 no. When I see two gas people running as hard as you, I figured out that I would have to run as well. I see new people running, so I need to run as well. So the people of Batil are running with no purpose, no objective. Their life is just for amusement and merrymaking. Just eating, consuming, having fun. Just engage in the activities with no focus, no priority, no objective. So we need to find our objective as well and, and really uh, realize where we are going wrong. Sometimes in a person's wrong because they've not spent time with the ulama, the pious mashaykh, the sulaha, the ulama i haq. And uh, through the wrong interactions, a person has confidence that they are right because I'm following so and so. But they haven't exhausted all avenues to find haq without proper investigation. They're confident they're doing the right thing, but actually they're doing the wrong thing. Like somebody went to a drugstore and asked the pharmacist that uh, give me something for hiccups. So without any warning, suddenly the pharmacist slapped the man across the face. The man was very upset, said, why did you do that for? Obviously he was a pharmacist, so he didn't want to beat him up. What happened? What's the story? So the pharmacist said, well, the good news is you don't have any hiccups anymore. The good news is you don't have any hiccups anymore. So the man said angrily, I don't have hiccups. I'm here for my wife. So the pharmacist thought he's going to solve the man's problem. He caused a bigger problem. He caused a bigger problem. So uh, back to the point of, 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 of these Shari rules have been highlighted, so it needs to be implemented in our daily lives as well. So with regards to the smartphone as well, people are sending messages, they're making calls as well, the system which, which has been mentioned, but you look at it, there's a, there's a lot of breaches. So uh, Edward Snowden in, in the relationship with the NSA, there was some connection with the uh, network providers AT&T. So, AT&T was, was, was building secret rooms in some of their facilities and uh, these facilities and secret rooms were to channel all the internet, email, phone traffic with a special filter that would identify keywords. So all these platforms were set up and uh, to, to infiltrate the communication platforms. So a, a person who's using a, a smartphone, the methodology which, which we've mentioned, but part of that is looking at uh, encryption and, and, and high level of encryption. So unfortunately, even the WhatsApp encryption, when you engage a middle uh, structure, it's called MITM, man in the middle attack, where they intercept the messages, which is quite common. And uh, if we see how many hundreds of millions of, of, of people using these uh, 
messenger services it is not secure so firstly is to find a secure messaging service where all the metadata within these systems does not go through the cellular companies but uh, through another system like to likewise number two uh, it's called e2ee -E, end-to-end uh, encryption where there is no breach into this and and both ways your encryption is limited and your data is protected then another important aspect number three is message expiration so whether it's an sms message or any of your message and service you need to find out this message on the service how long do they protect it for example in sms is it on the system is it available after month two months three months um can it be captured can it be preserved can it be protected is there any basic layers of, of protection so that expiration some of the service nowadays is where you have an option uh, for the message to remain in that service so we can stay for 24 hours seven days etc so that's very important where both sites it needs to be deleted and should not be available on any platform likewise encrypted voice calling as well is very important so the methods which which has been identified so there's another service nowadays which people use which is telegram which is encrypted you can run on android ios window devices but there has been research showing that uh, telegram services have been chrome compromised and in your critical data is not protected even after it is deleted from the device somebody joins telegram they can go back to the history so that shows although it comes with its benefits it shows vulnerability so uh, likewise as discussed whatsapp as well uh, allows to share account details with facebook servers and the users so if they've come with new privacy policies and when the, when that policy uh, it's, it's it's literally a breach where, where when you go cross platform your profiles your 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 data the secure, secure communication structures have been breached as well so likewise if you have to back it up then it's uh, stored in the google cloud service which again your vulnerability is open so very important when a person is looking for an app and now we're discussing uh with regards to apps a person should look for an app which has OTR. So OTR is off the record messaging, a higher standard of encryption, end-to-end -end, uh, encryption protocols. Uh, then a person should look for PFS, which is perfect forward secrecy. So randomly generated session keys, which uh, is very, it had been engineered in specific specific for being resilient and in the future there's no no breach in the future you cannot have any compromise and access to your messages then um, so so these two tools and principles otr and pfs if you look at it so one app is a uh, chat secure which is a secure text messaging app which is available on all platforms and uh, it's it's called something called a certificate pinning which which includes proof of identity certificate so in contact with the service the certificate is uh, uh, connected to the, the 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 mothership and this certificate does not match with the session it does not continue so even the conversation logs uh, also is 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 protected uh, likewise another app which we can use as well is signal so uh, that's from open whisper systems which are available on other platforms as well and uh, likewise crypto cat also can be used then now recently tor which it's highly encouraged and will come to that when we use in our browser service but tor has a messaging app as well and it uh, anonymizes your IP address, which is very important. Why? Because then it is difficult to trace. So your exit nodes, your default controls, end-to-end -end encryption, 
um, that is important. So um, when 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 choosing your app, uh, it is very important to consider this. So now, if we say in signal, there may be some uh, compromise with regards to single. Why? Because you you have to put in your your number. So we've explained previously where you create a VoIP number, Twilio, Telnix, MySudo, etc. So if you use your VoIP number, then 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 you covered. Um, otherwise, a person could triangulate, find your location, and from that get other information, uh, and you can be breached. Another app which uh, is called Wire. So this is on iOS, Android, Windows, and uh, Wire is um, also. A, a, a very uh, secure why because it only asks for an email address to open an account and if a person's got a proton email address which we'll get into the details inshallah then that makes it more secure somebody who hasn't downloaded app so that's another thing you have to create a circle around you of people to use one app so you don't have multiple apps so again compromise so the people around you with wire you can Go onto the website within a browser, create a uh, communication, text, audio, video as well, which which uh, has a lot of benefits. So this is with regards to apps. The amal for today is to be constantly in wudu, in, in the state of wudu. Istaqimu, remain steadfast. Walantuhsu, you will never be able to encompass, encompass the rewards in store for you if you remain steadfast. وَعَلَّمُوا أَنَّ خَيْرَ عَمَالِكُمْ الصَّلَاةِ The best amal is salah. وَلَا يُحَافِظَ عَلَى الْهُضُوِ إِلَّا الْمُؤْمِنِينَ None but a true believer can um, protect and safeguard their wudu illa mu'minun except a true believer. So do you have a habit to be constantly in a state of wudu? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ